Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Chris's Cuddles. Today we're going to do little baby James. There's something wrong with my earring aids. I can't turn them down. Try that. No, that's not worked. And it's deafening me. Hello? No, it's not worked. So if I'm shouting, I'm sorry. Or if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. Because it's dead loud. Right. I've just told you we're going to do my gorgeous little baby James But before we start, I've got a bit of a haul to show you I've got my last three items what I picked up uh, From Vinted Yeah, I got that right And I went to Tesco yesterday with Paul He wanted some porridge So I bought a couple of outfits from there So we'll start with this one Now this is the one that I boo-booed with um, it's only when I reread it, it's tiny baby, but it might fit. I think it'll fit little Lottie, and it's beautiful. It's pink, um, thin card dry, no sleeves. It's got three little pin tucks going down each side, and two goss grain pink ribbons, and then it's got two little tiny pockets with the same uh, bows on. And it's got pink and yellow flowers and a bit of pale blue. And look at the buttons. Little flower buttons. See? Isn't it lovely? That was a pound, I think. But I don't know where my paper is. Have I not wrote these down anywhere? I don't know what they are. Have I threw it away? What's that one then? Oh, I meant write them down before I came on. But that was only a pound. Isn't it lovely? Plus postage, of course, which is usually £3.29. So there's that one. Then I got this one. I'm sorry I've not wrote the prices down. Now this is brand new with tags. And it's a little Peter Rabbit. It's white. With a little frilly sleeve says £10 on, but I didn't pay that. And it's got two embroidered. It's got Peter Rabbit here. Don't want that. Come on his face. And then he's got one of his sisters uh, carrying a basket. And then it's got printed yellow flowers on this side and blue flowers on this side and a little bumblebee. Um, No buttons. Oh, right. So no buttons at all on it. On the top and some little yellow flower leggings um, which you don't really need to use in summer you can just use the little dress so the leggings are yellow with blue pink and yellow flowers on I'm sorry I've not wrote the prices down for you but it doesn't really matter because they're off vintage you probably won't get them anywhere and then there's this one this is another Peter Rabbit it's a white dress and it's got little outlines in blue of Peter Rabbit and little blue flowers. See Peter Rabbit. It's got a little Bolero cardigan and it's got like a little Oli pattern on it. And it says Peter Rabbit on the little white button. And it's just got a little cap sleeve and it's piped in pale blue. And three buttons down the back that says Peter Rabbit on. Different pictures of Peter Rabbit. So that was quite cheap as well. But I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember how much I've paid for them. I can tell you again if you want to know. There's no price on that. Now that one is up to one month, I think that is. Yeah, up to one month. But it looks a bit big, doesn't it, that dress? For one month but we'll see so that then was off vintage now these are what i bought yesterday they had a little easter section and there was this nice dress it's um it's a type of sea sucker it's pale blue very pale blue and white lines going down it's got a little peter pan collar that's frilled round the edge and there it's got two little yellow 
ducks. Um, what word do I want? Embroidered on and some green leaves. Then at the bottom, it's got a little dog, brown dog, with bunny ears. And then it's got the two little ducks, a carrot, a rabbit, some green leaves, another carrot, some orange flowers with green leaves. Then it's got the dog again. And then it's the same again. I'm just playing at the back. And it comes with a little pair of knickers to match. So that was a tenner. I thought Paul would have said something, but I think he's give up now. He doesn't say anything. I knew I don't complain. He's gone out again for lunch with his mates. And then this one was reduced. It should have been 14 and it was nine. Because I thought that little cardigan. You probably pay nine pounds just for the cardigan. Cream cardigan with four imitation wooden buttons going down and two rows of cable down each side. And it's got cable down the arms and a little cuff on. And then it comes with these little cream leggings. And I thought this could go for either boy or girl, really. You know, and you can use them separate. So I've got that. Right, so that's my haul done. So, as I said, we're going to change little baby James. He's not been done since Suzanne did that uh, Paddington Burr thing. So, this hasn't been used before. It's a little mayoral outfit. Uh, not to one month. So, this can go for Jay's tag as well. What day are we on? Thursday. Yeah, I'm not doing Team Thursday. So, it's a little cream outfit with a pointy collar. And it's piped in blue. It's got little blue... Um, elbow pads on each side and it's got three little cars appliqued on it's got a blue one it's got a, um, a cream one with a dark brown stripe and then a, a top stripe and then like the top colour and they've all got blue wheels and that's the mayoral sign and it comes with a little pair of striped leggings or pants, whatever you want to call them, in the blue, the top, the paler, beige colour. Well, that's like a brown, really, isn't it? That's more top, and it's footed with little blue um, feet on. So he's going to have that on. Did I say it can go for Jay's Tag UK and new baby clothes? Or did I think I said it? I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I've not had no dinner. So I'm going to put that on him, and why it's only thin, because it's still cold here, uh, I'm going to put this little cardigan on, what I had made, with little cars going round. It's got car buttons, four going down in red, and it's got a red car and a pale blue car, but nothing at the back, and a little collar, and just plain knit. Um, it's not got him any socks out. Um... I might put him a little pair of thin socks on. Let's have a look what we can find. It doesn't matter what really colour they are, does it? Because you're not going to see them. Just need some thin ones, really. They'll do. Look at size on them. Tiny, aren't they? Yeah, they'll do. Right, chicken. And I've got an outfit for a little girl as well. We'll see how we go on. What time it gets to. Went and seen my doctor yesterday and I told him what Karen said, you know, showed him what she wrote down because I'm hopeless at pronouncing all these medications. And he looked at her and he went, whatever it says, I forget what it says. He said the, the, the name of it and he went, oh, he's got socks on. He never said that. Um, he said that's um, for blood pressure. So I said, all right. So I said, well, that's what Karen sent. So he Googled it for me and he turned the screen round and showed it and read it out. So I said, well, Karen reckons it's for sweats. I said, it's, she says it's like, um, then what you have when you're getting old, but not as old as me, menopausal, menopausal sweats. I said, but they're still sweats. So he said, well, According to this, it's for blood pressure. So he said, let's take your blood pressure. 
So he took my blood pressure and he says, well, you can go on it if you want because you have got high blood pressure. He said, and if you want to take the word of your daughter, it's up to you. So I still try anything. I'll try anything once. So he said, well, you can go on it if you want. He said, I don't mind prescribing it for you. It's up to you. I said, I'll try anything. So um, he did me the prescription. Anyway, we went to the chemist later on. We went shopping and then we went back to the chemist. And they had to order it. It's only in today, after lunch, I've not been for it yet. So I'll try that. I'll try anything, I don't care. But I've not told Karen. I meant ring her last night and I forgot. Let's see what she asked for it, sir. I said to Paul, well, fancy her telling me that, if it's with blood pressure. She told me it was for hormonal sweats. So anyway, he's give it me. It's lovely. It really is lovely. I said to him, I said, I'm awful sorry keep um, being a martyr to you. And he tapped me on my hand. He got hold of my hand like that. He's a proper gentleman. He got hold of my hand, tapped in. He went, Christine, if I can help you in any way I can, I don't mind how many times you mind me. If I can do anything to help you, then I will. He said, I will always try my best to help you. Isn't that nice? How many doctors do you get that's like that? I think he's amazing. I really do. If I wasn't married to Paul, I might, uh, you know, show me hand there, like, but never mind. <laughs> Only messing. No, he's a real gentleman, he is. He's lovely. He gets up and shakes your hand when you're going in. Well, he meets you at the door. He comes out and shouts your name. Uh, how are you today? Not so bad. How are you? Like, you know, shakes your hand. Oh, he's lovely. I really do like him. That's coming out. Hate these tags on mayoral stuff. Bloody rubbish. There we go. That's that gone. Should have had a look in the pants, but I never noticed any. So I'll try it, see what he says. So he says to me, uh, take two. Uh, twice a day if it doesn't work go up to three i went oh okay two then three yeah okay i got that he said well i'll tell you what start with one i thought make your mind up so i start with one if it don't work go up to two if it don't work go up to three so we'll see if that works a little boy i said to him because they're really driving me up the wall but touch wood I've not had one today. I had one yesterday morning. Uh, I was having one when Liz came for do me a... Uh, she said, I can feel you sweating. She said, you're really sweating, aren't you? And I went, yeah. I said, this is what it's like. So she said, her mum used to be like that. But I don't think her mum was as old as me. So she probably was menopausal. And she said, she, she used to get something from Boots called Audubon. And put it under your armpits. And I went, but it's not my armpits that's sweating. She said, yeah, but that's where your sweat glands is, under your arms. She said, but she used to pay £9 odd for it. I said, well, why pay for it? You can get it free off, doctor. If it works off the doctor. Oh, I thought that was white, but it's nice cream. Oh, buggery. I've got to put it on him. Can't be bothered reaching for another one and have yanking about. As my mum used to say, a man on a galloping horse won't notice. And I don't know how it's got to work putting a collar on a collar, but we'll give it a go. Got a little hat that matches this, like, like a little beanie hat. But I'm not putting a hat on him. He's not got much hair as it is. Come on, chicken. There we go, let's take the little baggie off. There we go, sweetheart. Now then, let's have a look at your collar. We can't have you looking like Elvis, can we? Hey, with your collar up. You just fasten one button. Might keep it still a bit. Oh, you look nice and snug and warm. So that's you done. Right, put your doddy back on. That way, Peter Rabbit's the right way. You've got not not got oh you've got your name on your dummy on there and on your dummy. 
and there's your little bird back there we go so you were done so what time are we on 15 minutes uh, i'll do little um sophie come on sweetheart Bob not looked at you there but it's okay and i won't kiss you because mummy's got lipstick on oh because she's going out right so that's you done right little sophie come on let's get you done this is gorgeous little sophie she's the newest baby in my nursery oh i'm sorry i never told you about little uh, baby james baby james is the low kit by uh corolla wetheridge he's 18 inches i think he's my smallest baby he weighs six pounds four ounces and he was born on the 19th of july 2021 and this little one is the Mila kit by Gudrun Legler. She was born on the 18th of December last year. She's 20 inches and she weighs five pounds exactly. And she was reborn by Alexandra Taylor Hughes of Alexandra's Babies. Is that what I heard just fall? Right, put them there. So for little Sophie, I'm going to put this on her. Now I think I sent this to uh, Shara for the twinning by Dandelion. Oh, it's a little pink top, it's got pink striped sleeves and it's got a little moon with a little teddy bear swinging in the moon and it's got a little pink satin bow and it's got a pink star, a pink star, a white star and a white star and it's got some little footed pants with stripes on and a plain pink cuff at the bottom. What size is this? Newborn. So she's going to have that on and because I say it's still cold here I'm going to put her a little pink cardigan on that's got a collar on as well uh, some little pink socks with a frill on and some little pink and white booties so that's what she's having on right you chicken hey look at them blue eyes because I'm not keen on that dress what she's got on so Take it off her. Take it off her. I mean, it's okay, but it's not one of my favourites. I thought it was by um, George Oldman BB, but it's not. Who did I say it was by? Ellen J. Not got a clue who Ellen J is. Is it American? Let's have a look. Made in China. Everything's made in China, though, isn't it, these days? Come on, chick. Under your studs. That's a good girl. Come on. Oops, a daisies. Oops, a daisies. Oopsie bumsies. There we go, sis. Put that there, sis. Take your frilly knickers off. You don't be needing them, will you? Put everything away in a moment. Take this off. Now this is like what came the other day, only those short sleeves. I told you I had them in long sleeves, didn't I? Very handy these, you know, for putting under like rompers and that, long, long legged rompers that you don't get a top with and things like that little dress where I've just took off. Quite handy. There we go. Right, that's that off. Where's your sockies? Your socks on first. There we go, socks. I've had a phone call this morning um, from the appointments arrangement place. I was supposed to phone them. I was going to phone them today, but she beat me to it. Um, you know, this gallstones thing that I've got on my liver asking me where I'd like to go um, to see someone about it so she gave me a few options I said St Helens at first she said well you can go up Fairfield as well that's where I go for my foot you know the private one um, anyway she gave me the dates the private one Fairfield is next month 
and the NHS one, St Helens Hospital, is uh, April, May. So I said, oh, the first one, please. And Paul was going, yeah, 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 you know, because it's private. So if I go there for see someone, I'll probably go there for the procedure, if they said they're doing it. And as I say, it's a private hospital, so you get your own room and everything. So I'm thrilled to bits with that. So that's next month. I forget what date. I said to her, will you send me a letter? She said, yeah, of course I will. So that's that. So I'm still waiting for um doctor supposed to be sending me for an ultrasound on my big fat knee. I can't show you that, I wish I could, honest. It's like the elephant man, only instead of being on my face, it's on my knee. Because I have had an ultrasound on it before and they just said it, even before they did it, going back years, like, said it was a fatty lump. <laughs> That's what the doctor said as well. I said, well, can nothing be done about it? Because it's huge, huge. And he said, not really. If it was, what is it? A, some at Loma. Uh, Mrs Pim Pimple Popper always texts them out. It's like... Um, type of growth I think if it was that then you might be able to get it done on the national health but if it's only a fatty lump um, they'll class it as cosmetic and you'll have to pay for it so Paul went on the internet um, for have it done in Turkey it's a um, thousand and odd pound for have it done in this country it's I think I forgot whether he said three thousand and odd or four thousand and odd I said, well, I don't fancy having it done in Turkey and then I think to come home and sit on a plane after having surgery on my knee. Because I keep thinking, if I have my knee done, well, that's a bit short, isn't it? You know, um, a new knee, I was going to ask them, could they cut it away? Because they're opening my knee up anyway, aren't they? So I don't see why they couldn't. But I keep putting that off because I'm not looking forward to having that done. Because I bet it's really painful because you use your knees for everything, don't you? Standing, sitting, walking, going upstairs. But I've heard it's not bad. I know Jean's had hers done from Jean's Dolls and More. But I think she was in quite a bit of discomfort when she had hers done. I mean, it's discomfort with any operation, isn't it? But... I think you knee it'd be worse because, like I say, you're bending it all the time, aren't you? Use it a lot. Paul went for an injection in his knee yesterday. And uh, we went out looking for something for my daughter-in-law for her birthday and something for Paul's sister for her birthday. And Paul won't just go to one shop. He's one of these who, oh, let's go and look here, let's go and look there. And I was in pain. And then something that he never does, he never complains at all. He went, Chris, I'm going to have to sit down. I said, well, that makes two of us. So uh, we was in TK Maxx and they sell furniture in there. But, so we both sat down. <laughs> both sat down, not furniture. I said, listen, Paul, I've had enough. I'm in agony. He said, come on then. He wanted to go um, somewhere else looking for garden, garden ornaments. And they had two unusual ones in TK Maxx and he said come on we'll go home bargain the big one in town and I went are you not getting them pots there's two like ceramic uh, terracotta pots but there was like a, an Alibaba type style you know thin at the top and then they went out like that but instead of putting your plant in the top there was a hole in the side so you lie it down and you put your plant in and there was two of them. I said, get her them. I said, just get them. I said, you might go home bargain and they'll have nothing. So anyway, he got them. It's murder. He won't just bat. He liked them because he pointed them out to me. Come on, I want to show you these because I was looking at baby clothes naturally. But they had rubbish, nothing. Um. So he said, come on, I want to show you these. So I thought, oh, well, he must like them then. I said, oh, yeah, they're unusual. Get her them. 
So he's, I said, get out of that then, because I didn't know there was two. He said, there's two of them. I said, well, there you go then. A pair is better than one. I said, get out then. Oh, we'll go home bargain. I went, well, you are. I went, I'm not. So I'm going home. I've had enough. Well, anyway, I got them. Where did these go? Pink pom pom. No, I don't think that's pink pom pom. That's the pair that's out. Beige, beige, cream, champagne. Where did these rascals go then? Blue, sandals, sandals, sandals. Must be in this. Perhaps it's it goes in this box. Because I lost one, didn't I? So perhaps they go in that box. Cream glitter shoes. Unless somebody else has got them on. But we've gone in there now. I know somebody's got them on. I think. We think, don't we, chicken? So that's it. All done. Done two babies. Show Jimmy Hall. I hope you like everything. Tell you what, this new baby's got me well kitted out. But I think the pink one will be for little Lottie. I don't think that'll... Just have a look, put it towards sofa. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not bad, that, is it? I thought it would be too small. Whether it could be too small across the chest. Because it's only for a small baby. Because I think she's supposed to be 19 inches, my new one. Well, she said about 19 inches. What about 19 inches? I don't know. So I said it would have been nesting, but I never asked you what length she's got to be. So I said, oh, well, she'll be newborn. So I've got a couple of one month outfits just in case. But most of the stuff's um, newborn. I wish you could talk to me on here. Tell me to lift camera up a bit. Oops, it's a bit wobbly. Legs need fixing again. Ooh, 27 minutes. Right, so I'm going to go now and upload this and then I'll go and pick my tablets up. Okay then, so hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. All being well. I'm going to give, give the aunties and uncles a kiss. Bye-bye, mm, everyone. Mm, thank you for coming watching my mummy's videos. Mm, we love you. Bye. Right, that's bye-bye from pretty Sophie. And mwah, kiss from me. Got lippy on my hands now. And my babies. I love you all. Thank you very much for dropping by. Spending a bit of time with me again. I really appreciate it. And thank you to all my lovely subscribers who take the time to click the like button. Or even better, give me a comment. Okay then. Bye.